when you work with uh, newcomers or you work with new filmmakers or actors i think uh, they rub their freshness onto us as well i think both saif and me came with that enthusiasm childlike enthusiasm hey guys this is manjri mukherjee and you're watching me on pop diaries channel and i'm in conversation with someone unique someone hatke and that is the reason why she deserves a very hatke introduction well चंद का टीका मथे लगा के रात दिन तारों में जीना भी नहीं ईजी नहीं बट वेल द ओनली पर्सन हु कैन मेक इट लुक वेरी ईजी एंड पीजी इज नन अदर देन द रानी मुखर्जी सच अ लवली वॉइस बींग बंगाली आई थिंक वी ऑल ब्लेस्ड विथ गुड वॉइस इज नो एक्चुअली वेरी ट्रू बट मैम Uh, I was looking through the whole uh, the roles. I uh, you know have this fan girl moment right now. It's it's oh, a complete sweet. fan girl moment happening. I have looked up to Bubbly as a character for a very very long time. Uh, I love her personality. The way she just comes you know flourishes on the screen. Uh, how was it for you, like reconnecting with that original Bubbly again after so long? Like as you said, even I love. Vimmy's personality. I yes. think Vimmy brings with her so much of uh, happiness around her that anybody who's in and around her has to be happy and has to have some reaction happening <laughs> because she completely charges the other person who's next to her. What I love about Vimmy in Bunty Bubbly too is that she's a mother of a ten-year-old now. Hmm. She's a mother. She has this great um, relationship with her son going. Uh, she has uh, succumbed to this sedentary life with her husband yes. she has decided not to con anybody anymore but still the spunk that she has she's not left being the fashionista that she was yes. you know she still enjoys dressing up she still enjoys looking her best she makes uh, food in the kitchen or makes eggs in the kitchen putting rollers in her hair hmm. and i love that about her because she's somebody who's not left her spark you yes, know true. and she's still very spunky and age is really not a factor for her because uh, she still the same um, a bubbly self and sh uh, she's raring to go and she's very intelligent in that sense and i think that what makes her unique absolutely i completely agree with you i mean i looked at the trailer and i was like she's the highlight <laughs> as usual <laughs> i'm looking forward to seeing you in a completely different light uh, but also reconnecting to the person that i had fallen for i had literally fallen for her uh but there's also this part where i come to say that you had many times also mentioned that i am the comedian in the film yeah. uh how hard was it for you to make sure that yes the kind of uh, the way how i am putting myself across is exactly the way how the audience is going to perceive me see now that i don't know till the movie releases you see i have yes. to do my very best and do the best for what the script has uh asked me to you know deliver and uh, in the script i think uh, vimmy's character comes across as this complete firecracker she is this person who's going to crack you up you know even if she is saying a line with a with complete seriousness you'll want to smile you'll want to laugh and you'll root for her because she's very very real and why i say that i'm the comedian is because i think uh, being a comedian is very tough uh, making people laugh is very tough and i think uh, vimmy in itself Uh, though it comes across as very easy peasy like you said yes uh, but uh, it is difficult to portray a character where you are putting in a lot of emotions plus the realness plus the comic timing plus the vulnerabilities of her being who she is at this age of her life so i think there's a lot that vimmy is dealing with um, in this comedy zone you know which i think the nuances uh, when people see they will understand through the character so uh, being an out and out entertainer it also has a lot of other things uh, simmering uh, like you know up and down through the yes. performance so yeah so in that sense i hope that the audience is relate with my character because there will be a lot of women who will uh, connect with you know vimmy 2.0 very true very true i think my mom will be <laughs> she's very much like that okay. <laughs> so yes and uh, How was it like reuniting with Seth? I mean, it's a couple that I have loved and cherished. So, how was it like? Um, I think uh, both Seth and me are uh, people who have grown together in films. Um, 
we have seen each other's journey. Both of us have evolved as actors from the time that we've been working. And whenever we've worked, I think there has been this comfort that we've felt in each other's company. And especially this time around, after a gap of 13 years, I think both Saif and me came with that enthusiasm, childlike enthusiasm, that we have to like, you know, make it happen this time around as well. Mm -hmm. And the fact that uh, we were pitied against uh, the millennial stars. Yes. So we worked as a team to, you know, better ourselves. Uh, we worked as, uh, you know, people who uh, are going to be looked upon as the underdogs in the script, in the screenplay. And uh, we, we worked uh, very hard for the film in that sense. And I hope that that translates beautifully on screen. Absolutely. Uh, I was recently talking to Siddhan and Sharvari and they said that the moment we come, came to know that we are going to be uh, acting alongside these big stars, we had a fangirl and fanboying moment. <laughs> I completely relate with them. Uh, but I asked them that what they had learned and unlearned from you both. I believe that as an actor, it never stops the no, process never stops, and yeah. with other people we all kind of you know keep learning keep like something. imbibing and keep exactly so yeah. what was that one thing that you might have you know learned and unlearned while on this epic journey with them i think with them um, when you work with uh, newcomers or you work with new filmmakers or actors i think uh, they rub their freshness onto us as well yes. you know <laughs> they kind of sprinkle a little freshness so that we start looking fresh and i think that's amazing because when I look at my journey 25 years back, when I was a newcomer, I brought a kind of freshness uh, to the industry as well. And I think uh, the more we encourage new people to come into the um, uh, industry, I think the industry will only flourish and go from strength to strength. So I truly believe that Siddhant and Sharvari both are those stars that are waiting to be, you know, completely uh, come into their own and shine and shine their own, uh, yes. I would say, their own uh, shine. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Rani, you are a woman who is breaking stereotypes out there, you know. Uh, if they say that there is this particular saying, ki Bollywood actresses have a shelf life to themselves. But I see you breaking that barrier and going through. What was it like for you though? It must have been challenging. It's not easy. So I think uh, women, um, challenge women, women inspire women and there have been so many women in the industry who have inspired me uh, to be able to break the stereotype. When I see the graph of Meryl Streep, yes. um, I think she's very inspiring and I, I love the way that she still um, uh, streamlines a project. She's still very much the um, main protagonist of most of the projects that she does. And I think that's brilliant because to keep evolving with cinema, with time, with age, I think that's what I think truly an artist should do. Because uh, an artist has to um, uh, look around, see the surroundings, see the, um, you know, do the age appropriate films, um, stay relevant with doing relevant stories, relevant, uh, uh, I think, you know, performances, evolve with time. Um, evolve and see what the audiences are appreciating and then that's what um, makes you able to break the stereotype. So I think that's what I've tried to follow and that's what I intend to do for the next 25 years. Wow, oh my god. I, seriously, I'm looking forward to seeing you for the next 25, 30, I don't know, <laughs> unlimited years. Seriously, I never get bored because it's, it's you, your face and that beautiful smile and so much of abundance of talent. Thank you. So Thank yeah, you. I really love you. And one last thing I want to ask you from the film, that one moment where, which you will cherish throughout, you know, from this journey. Uh, from my entire journey of 25 years? No, from the from film. Just the film. Yes. Uh, um, from the film, I think what I need to cherish is definitely going to be um, my song Tattoo Valley, in yes. which I wear that uh, dress which my fans have really loved. Yes. And they're comparing me to Tina, which I was 25 years yes. back. Yes. So I think that is a moment that I'm going to cherish for all my life. Wow, so I think I will also cherish that. <laughs> <laughs> I love the step like this. Yes. I told Siddhant and Shari as well, as well. I love the song and I love this whole step. Thank you. So Thank yes. you. Oh, before I let you go, Rana, yeah. there's a small fun session that we have to play. Okay. It will be very quick. So okay. as Bubbly, yeah. one thing that you would like to steal from all the Bollywood stars, 
Okay. okay. They are your friends yeah. in real, but we are only looking at bubbly, right? Okay, fine. Cool. So what bubbly would like to take? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. First, Shah Rukh Khan. Mm, love. Hmm. Kareena Kapoor Khan. Uh, Taimur. <laughs> <laughs> Same here. <laughs> Saif Ali Khan. Jay. Okay. Amir Khan. Uh, his intelligence. Kajol. Uh, her gorgeous eyes. Uh, Salman. Oh my God, his heart. Very truly, heart of gold. And last one, Divika Parko. Uh, her height. Yeah. Same. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would be all. Thank you so much, Thank Rani. You. I hope you like this interview and this conversation. I personally loved talking to you. Thank and guys, you. watch out for our OG Bubbly coming to life again on 19 November at your nearest theaters. And that would be all from your Manjri Mukherjee. Sayonara. Hi, I'm Rani Mukherjee and you're watching me on Pop Diaries.